before I start this vlog, I have to say, dreamcrew.com, all of the tour merch is available now, unless it's already been sold out. All available right now on dreamcrew.com. Link is down below. Now pause this video, go cop your merch. Okay, come back. Yeah, enjoy today's episode. Peace. guys so we started the vlog off at cool kicks today on Melrose because this is the only place where I could find a size 7 in the off-white Jordan 1's now the reason why I need a, a size 7 I don't think this this size never released right this is the only place I could find it shout out to cool kicks on Melrose looking out and uh, I'm gonna surprise Mina today so I'm literally gonna go drive over there she has no idea she's been wanting them it's been super hard to get a size 7 and uh, finally we came through so yeah, shout out to the Cool Kicks family. We out of here. First time I brought the beast on Melrose. You know, we getting a lot of turning heads. You know what I'm saying? You saying? Get some attention. All right, now I gotta go though. We got a long drive. Oh, this drive is always annoying, but you know what I'm saying? When you in love, you gotta do stuff for your bae. You know what I'm saying? Surprise her. You know, drive long distance for her. And uh, oh yeah, car's waiting for me, so I'm gonna I'm gonna drive off now. Let me flip this. Oh. So I'm about to post the new skit in 30 minutes. If you haven't watched it already, me and Yeezy Busta, we did a parody of Complex Sneaker Shopping. This is Joe from Complex. We're here at the Mag Park in Burbank, California, and we're gonna go sneaker shopping with Yeezy Busta. Uh -huh. Shout out to Joe from Complex who hosts the show. I was playing his character. Yeezy Busta was just playing the guest on the show. Also, shout out to Mickey and Justin. Uh, the skit turned out crazy. If you watch any Complex episodes, you see how many like B-roll transitions they have, and I thought that was funny how we added all those in there and it, it was it was literally like we had the idea of it but we basically executed everything and improvised the whole video which was pretty cool and I thought it turned out very very dope so if you haven't seen it obviously link is gonna be down below make sure you guys go check it out and support it and thumbs up it and share it and hopefully complex enjoys it and reposts it and they have reposted one of my videos we did we did a parody like a dj khaled one a few years ago with harris and they reposted it so they have shown shown love so hopefully with this one we get the same feedback and i mean if not hopefully you guys enjoy it and that's what's most important and this is just some of the types of videos i want to bring out to you guys it's not just vlogs but skits because that's what i started youtube with and that's what you know people enjoy more than anything because you don't have to like me personally but you can like the skit i feel like when it comes to vlogs if you like you have to like me personally because you're watching my actual life so um yeah that, I, that's just how i feel about it anyway i got this drive like i said so i'm going to focus on driving and i'll check in with you guys in a minute I think a cop just saw me vlogging. Is it illegal to vlog and drive? I don't know. He's not pulling me over, so <laughs> we should be good. All right. I just got here. It's pretty late. I stopped by to see my niece and 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 them. We better go get some sushi right now. Um, sushi. We gotta go get some sushi. I always stick. I stick to the California rolls, yeah, the crunch so rolls, the crunch rolls with some teriyaki chicken. Um, but anyway, like but anyway, we have a lot of planning to do today because, you know, we got the engagement party coming up, which I haven't even told anybody. I haven't even told them that it's coming up. But oh, well, hey, guys, we're having a big engagement party. We're planning. We've been planning for it. Well, she's been doing most of the planning. I've just been kind of like, you know, sitting back and letting her make decisions and all that stuff. <laughs> we are gonna do like a, a a photo shoot I think Sunday it's gonna be like our a couple photo shoot you know how couples usually take like romantic pictures and stuff like that yeah we're gonna go get sushi now so we'll check in with you guys in a minute let me do that thing you do <gasps> wait no what's 
good guys, welcome back. Did you see what I got? We didn't even eat yet. Did you see what I picked up today? Expecting that? No, I thought we were just freaking vlogging on the way to sushi. I'm over here asking people about sushi rolls when my freaking dream shoe is sitting right behind me. <laughs> For those of you guys who follow me on freaking Twitter or my Snapchat, you guys know. I've been dying for these like like I feel like a sneaker fiend like it's like it sucks when you have like a smaller size because I feel like it's it didn't release so much even like it's what size 7 never released how do you know because I know because I asked there, there was no official release of a size 7 so these are from like friends and family pairs and stuff like that so you have been blessed with a pair so with the best I'm so happy I can eat it. Thanks, baby. I get up. Cause, all right, I'm with, so excited. There you go. You like them or no? I love them. Size 7 is like so, like, I want to keep them. I can't just, I don't want to keep them in my house. You know? Why? Because it's just like a rare size, you know, it's cool. Oh, yeah, fun fact the first time he ever got me, like, Yeezys, he told me, like, he wants to keep them at his house. And yeah, I, was, I like, did keep them at my house. Okay, so he kept them at his house, and I was like, okay, so like, if we break up, are they yours? He's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're expensive. Turtle what dogs. are you going to do with the size 7? Give it to your new girlfriend? Nah, I would have sold it. Get my money back, you know what I'm saying? Right. Well, Dude, you these have are them. so nice. Like, every little detail about them is so nice. Well, she got them. We're probably going to get a better thumbnail when we get outside the car because it's really bad lighting, but... Yeah, there you go. That's your early engagement. I'm not gonna say it's an engagement gift because then people are gonna be like, oh, you got our sneakers for your engagement gift? That's so blah, blah, blah. For the vlog, that's an engagement gift. I'm gonna get you something else too, so. Okay, time for the camera to come off. Let's go get some sushi. <laughs> ah, why is there like a glare? I'm back at the crib and before I opened this up, today was like, a perfect example of the type of content that I've been releasing lately and I told you guys I'm not really happy with that content but I'm slowly and slowly figuring out what I want to do and and I'm figuring out like what's best for my channel and what I enjoy uploading so there's there's gonna be some awkward videos where it just jumps randomly to places now and there also will be videos where it's like b-roll and, and all that good stuff so um, not every video is going to be the same for me. I just want to give you guys a heads up, but I'm starting to get more satisfied with my content. It's some of the vlogs are way longer than before, which I feel like it makes it kind of into like a reality TV show. And, and basically I, I really like the direction it's going with. I have been getting a lot of people telling me like, Oh, you're, you know, your content sh now you're this, you're that, blah, 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 blah. But you know what I'm saying? That's like, I've been having negative comments since day one, so it's like nothing new to me. So, you know, the people that watch and the people that support are the people that, you know what I'm saying? They're the people that, that are the reason why I'm here today. So, shout out to all of them. One thing I'm not going to do is address address negative, you know, comments and stuff like that anymore. I'm just going to keep grinding and keep pushing because, you know what I'm saying? There's been a lot of negativity my way. There's been a lot of people in the sneaker community trying to call me out and trying to show the world that I'm a culture vulture and I'm bad for the community. But, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to keep grinding. I'm going to keep doing doing my thing. I'm not going to stop. And, you know, if, if people look at me as something bad for this community, I just think that they, you know, they they need ha they need to have a reality check themselves because I don't think one person can be able to judge someone else and personally if like they don't know me personally, they don't know the stuff that happens off the camera. They don't know, you know, the amount of work I put in and and they don't appreciate the little things I've done that have never been done in this sneaker community. So I'm just going to say it straight up right here like you guys can make all the videos you want. You can do all the IG posts you want. You can talk on all the podcasts you want. You can 
talk amongst your friends. Your opinion is your opinion. I, I'm not here to convince you to like me. I'm just here to show you guys my life, show you guys dope stuff, dope events, dope sneakers, dope clothing, and either you like me or you don't. So it is what it is. No more negativity. Dream crew stay positive. We always stay positive. We always keep grinding. We keep rolling and we keep going. And yeah. That's it. Just wanted to quickly address that. And now I'm going to open some Supremo for you guys. Hit the intro. What's in the box? I am proud to say that this is the first ever Supreme pickup from online. I've never bought any Supreme from the actual Supreme website for retail on a Thursday drop. I got this from the Scarface week. Don't worry, it's not a Scarface piece. I know I haven't seen the movie. What I decided, I've, I've tried a few times and I've never gotten anything because I always go for the most popular item. So what I decided was like, the whole Scarface collection, that's what people are gonna go for. But there was a few other things in the drop and I said, you know what, I'm gonna try to go for some of that stuff. And guess what, it ended up working. I got something finally, I'm gonna open this up and a funny story is yesterday there was another drop and it was like the Arabic hoodie and I knew everybody was gonna go for the like the black one first so I went for the orange one and I got it in my car and I went to go check out, put all my information, I clicked check out and then it said card error. I put the wrong card, I put the, a card that recently got deactivated because some fraud alert crap so I screwed myself over, I would have had an orange Arabic hoodie, which was the one I actually wanted. Um, so that was a rookie mistake, but I was successful and I got the W on this one. A delayed W because Supreme is not that quick with their shipping. <laughs> Reminds me of Dream Crew shipping. <laughs> Sorry, blame GM. So I've seen other people un uh, unbox or unbag Supreme and, and I love watching it because they always are like, Supreme always throws in stickers and surprisingly they always they always put their online orders in a Supreme bag still so it's like they give you the full experience of what you get when you go in the store. So, oh no way. All right, I got some lit. They gave me three free stickers. We got you know what I'm saying, the signature box logo. We got probably one that I don't deserve which is the Supreme Scarface the world is yours blimp and then on the back it says Scarface's trademark of copyright Universal Studios. It's pretty cool and then this one is actually really really lit and again it's another one that I probably don't deserve but it is uh, Tony Montana shooting those that gun right there. It's not, hold on let me focus this. There you go. Uh, it's pretty, that's a really really dope sticker like if I was a Scarface fan or if I had seen the movie I'd really like this but uh, yeah, I haven't seen it. So now the next question people are gonna be like, oh, give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. I do have a mini Supreme sticker collection and although I do not have or have not watched Scarface, I'm still gonna keep these because it's not like something I'm gonna wear. I'm not gonna stick it on my laptop. I'm just collecting it just to have and one day maybe I'll sell them all, but right now I'm just gonna collect them. Receipt, this is called the Hooded Buffalo Plaid Flannel. Bada bam. Pretty cool, it comes in this Supreme Ziploc bag. Let me know if you guys want me to make a video of how I actually like buy Supreme online on a Thursday drop. Like I could film myself trying to order something to kind of give you guys some pointers. Like I don't have a bot or anything, so it'll be like how to buy Supreme online without a bot or something, I don't know. Like I just said the name, this is a hooded flannel. As you can see, there's nothing too special. There's no crazy Supreme branding on it. It's very, very small right there on the little tag. What was the price on this bad boy? 128 with shipping $10, sale tax. This came out to 150. Probably not worth 150 to be honest with you guys. It was like the only thing I got through on, so I was like pretty happy regardless, so that's why this is kind of special to me. Not all Supreme stuff needs to be like blasted with Supreme on the front and I like it. I mean it's, you know, layer it with like a graphic tee. Winter time you got your hood on, you can always throw on like a bomber on top of it and just let it sit subtly right there, you know what I'm saying? So we got ourselves a W on the Supreme job. I really like this actually now that I have it on me. Oh, that was cringy. So. I cannot wait for my Yeezy Wave Runners to come in the mail. I, I did buy those off of Yeezy Supply when they were up for pre-order. Every time I tweet that I'm excited for those two, I get so much hate. 
Yeezy Wave Runners coming out very well, coming in the mail very, very soon to anybody who ordered them. I'm very, very excited for those. Obviously, those lime green and purple with gum bottom Yeezy V2s take my money now because those are freaking beautiful. A lot of people are hating on that color, but that color is like I made a hoodie just for those shoes. Like, take my money, bruh. The Holiday 11s are coming out. Usually, I'm super hyped for the 11s, even though I end up buying them, wearing them a couple times, but it's not the same, obviously, as it was when, like, the Breads came out or the original Space Jam retros or even last year with the Space Jams. Like, those were those were beautiful. Those were, I'm, I was so excited for those, but this UNC color that's coming out, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm planning to cop them. I think I'm, I, I, yeah, I, I did cop the UNC ones, and they should be coming next week, but... I'm not too gassed up on it. The 11s aren't as special as they used to be. Like there was one release a year always, and it was that 11 and that came out in, in November or December. And now they're dropping like three, four pairs every year. And it's just like, I think it's like oversaturated. As much as I love Jordan brand, I would like, I'm excited to see what they do in 2018 as far as like keeping certain sneakers limited and not releasing as many colorways. So. I'm not doing anything, there's no events or any traveling until SneakerCon Vegas, which is November 11th, I believe. And then the weekend after that, which is November 18th, I'm going for the first time ever to Memphis for Memphis SneakerCon. So those are my next two events. I'm, I'm done with the tour as I've told you over and over again. Oh yeah, by the way, all the tour merch is on, on my dreamcrew.com right now. So if you guys want to get the Dream Crew merch, it's available right now unless it's sold out. Dreamcrew.com, quick plug. Go get it. Yeah, we done. And then London, we're coming back for SneakerCon again. Twice in one year. is That's how much love you guys showed last time. And I got some surprises for you guys there. So SneakerCon London is December 2nd. And then the weekend after that is SneakerCon in Germany, in Berlin. So SneakerCon Berlin is the weekend after. I think it's December 9th. And I'm super excited because I love Germany. I've been there before. Last time I was there was 2007, I believe. I'm just excited to be back in Germany, man. You know what I'm saying? Get them Kinders and, and you know what I'm saying? The eggs, the chocolate eggs with the toys inside. Like... Bruh, Germany has some of the best candy, like, ever, hands down. Uh, SneakerCon Berlin, I will be there. SneakerCon London, I will be there. And then SneakerCon New York City is going to be a two-day two event with the Hoops Classic. And that will be the 16th and 17th, I believe, of December. Um, and that will be the last SneakerCon of the year. And that's going to wrap up my travel um, for the rest of the year. So basically things will get he hectic starting November, but it's gonna be a good hectic It gives me enough time to rest and get my mind right and uh, Sneaker con New York. I'm dropping a collab, but I can't tell you what collab but that same collab will also drop online So it's 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 gonna be exclusive to sneaker con New York and online, but it will be very very limited you know, I've also been thinking a lot about SneakerCon, and SneakerCon has been a huge part of my life for the past two years. I've met so many of you guys there, I've had so many great great days there, I've had so many great memories there, and is it time for me to, you know, kind of step away? I haven't made a decision yet, but it's been running in my head to make SneakerCon New York, which is the last SneakerCon of this year, my last SneakerCon. I haven't decided yet, but it's it's been going through my head. I love SneakerCon, you know what I'm saying? It's not that I'm not having fun or anything like that. It's just I think it's I think it might be the time for me to hang up my boots and you know just walk away walk away happy walk away a thousand percent satisfied that I was able to do SneakerCon two years straight without missing one show I feel like I'm I would be walking away at a really great time of my life you know things are gonna get really crazy but for me in my life next year I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna know if I'm gonna be able to attend you know every single sneaker con I don't I don't know what's gonna happen that's what I'm thinking like do I want to make New York my last sneaker con one day I'm gonna Rewatch every single one of my sneaker con vlogs from the first one I went to Fort Lauderdale 2016 to the ones that are gonna complete this year and yeah, I'm just gonna Look at all the crazy memories we had because it's crazy man. It's it's, it's really really crazy uh, I'm gonna wrap up the vlog here. Thank you guys for watching. 
I would love for you guys to drop some positive comments in the comment section down below. For once, you know what I'm saying? You don't gotta compliment me, but you know, just try to stay positive. There's obviously gonna be a lot of hate, but like I said before, you know, overlook the hate with a whole bunch of positivity. I would definitely appreciate that. And also hit that thumbs up. And if you are new, subscribe because I'm still giving away 10 Yeezys when we reach a million subscribers, even though it's taken a long time. We are still going to give away 10 pairs of Yeezys. I promise you guys that. I got your back. Don't worry. And uh, we out of here. Cheese.